I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 277, Some If Air. I came across this one the other day and I wanted to make sure I shared it with you because I think it's awesome because I get to use the sum product function. And aside from the select function, I believe that the sum product function is a function that rules all other functions in Quantrix. Again, that is aside from the select function because I really think select is really the power in Quantrix. But I also like to use the sum product function every chance I get. And here is where you can use the sum product function. I have a list of part codes here and they have a value associated with them. And what I would like to do is I would like to aggregate the value where I have this tariff can be allocated to PPV detail raw column. I, I want to just aggregate where this, this column is an error. I want to go out and add, allocate the total values that are associated with any errors. So how do I do that in Quantrix Modeler? I would go ahead and I would create a new matrix and I would say that, you know, this cell is equal to sum product and uh, my first range within my sum product or my first argument within my sum product is, is this an error? So I would say, is error what array? this array right here if it is an error it will bring back ones and zeros that's what's happening here it's bringing back a list of ones and zeros with this is is error and then what i want to do is i want to then multiply that by the total or the values over here and if i close that uh, i can see that i get 973 and if i were to sum my two errors down here i would see that indeed it is 97303 and what this is doing is if I open up the dependency inspector and I hover on this, you will see that this uh, sum product if error is error is it's bringing back falses and trues in a list of 12 items or as many items are in the array. So in this case, there's 12 items and I can see that because I have 12 rows here and it's bringing back trues and falses. Well, a true is worth one and a false is worth zero, Boolean logic there. So I'm multiplying these trues and falses by the array that it matches up to here, which in this case, uh, my first value would be zero times 184.2. So that would be zero. But then my next value is actually true. You can see the second list and the second item in this list. Then it would be true. So that would be a one. So then I would take that one and I would multiply it by the 503.2. One zero, and again, that's what's happening for argument number three. It's also true, so it's going to be multiplied this one times the 469.93, and so on and so forth. And what happens is it then just goes out and it aggregates those items where they are true, and in this case, uh, the sum product of those or the sum of where the, the, these flags are an error, so where it is true it goes ahead and it just aggregates those or sums them and that gives me the 97303 value so if you ever need to look up or you need to aggregate what is an error or the errors within your data set you can go ahead and use the sum product is error functions in Quantrix and it will do it for you every time if you have any questions about sum product is error sum anything about Quantrix. I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. It's an awesome tool. I've been able to do some remarkable stuff with it, with it and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.